Hello everybody. Welcome back to another Thrift With Me video. We are at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift in Tampa. I'm so excited to be here. This is where you guys saw us shopping with Danny, the niche lady. We had a lot of fun. Um, we purposely didn't come on a Wednesday because apparently Wednesdays is like a super duper sale day and it has a lot of people and I'm not good with people -y. There's still so, going to be a lot of people, but it'll yeah, be less. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to go in there and see what we can find so that we can flip on eBay, live sales, Instagram, wherever. We're going to see if we can make some money. Let's go. Woohoo, I'm so excited. There's hardly any people here. And they've been open for an hour. That's kind of cute. Sonoma. I just found a book for Gabriel. Minecraft. Oh. What else? Okay, mom's down here. Aaron is down here. We have some teapots. Some glassware. Oh, these are cute little, um, like, uh, like Sunday cups. What did you find? Hand blown strawberry and peaches it's got oh, yeah peaches. i was gonna say it's got some paint wear but those were cool i don't think that's paint i think that's applied now that oh, the is way it? i see it's coming off hmm. trying to trick us those have a lot of dishwasher damage i think they look kind of um what's the word faded oh is this another temptations thing nope it's called mug shot and it looks like it would have a spoon. I've never seen that one before, that brand. Let's see what else. We have some, I love these bags. What are these? Hmm. Had a lot of mugs today. Oh, look at that. It's $60 for that vase up there. I found a Minecraft book for Gabriel. <laughs> Let me ask you a question about their pricing. Okay. The 99 cents is printed. It's always there. And then they decide what it's going to be. Yeah. So seven ninety nine. Okay. So that's probably, if they don't write pair, it's seven ninety nine each. Okay. I see a stack of pink depression glass plates for $4.99. That's actually really good. That Santa looks neat. He looks old world. Block. Indonesia. And then you have some willow wear. There. And then is this the um, made in Italy? What do we have? See? That's some pretty plates. Hmm. Did I hear you? Yep. No, I didn't hear you. Lots of pretty glass. Clear glass. That looks like Orifors, but probably not. Some Studio Nova. Mom showed me these Mikasa ones. And Aaron was looking at these. These have some paint wear, but they're signed by the artist who painted them. So that's pretty neat. All right. Let's see we can find anything good. Here's a Santa sleigh. Edible arrangements. <laughs> we'll leave that here. What else? Hmm. I guess I'll come back on if I find anything. Well, that was fast. Okay, so I look what I spotted. Look at the little tea light things. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Frankenstein and that looks like a little Frankenstein candle in there and a black cat oh my gosh I have to get these what is this I don't know what that is party light I really like these let's see what else we can find the girls bringing the card out this kind of caught my attention. This is $3.99 and it says Ceramic France Acela Alcia, something like that. Um, I think I'm going to look that up. So that was neat. 
There's a turkey napkin holder, and then we have this cute little duck. I was thinking it was Otagiri, but it's not. And then we have some holiday Publix salt and pepper shakers. Some of these do well, some of these are like eh. But I think I'm gonna look this one up. And then I spot some strawberries. It's like a homemade ceramic, but I like the black and the red. I really like that together. I love a good black color. What else do we have? Looks like some salt glazed pottery right here. I have a, a crock listed right now. It doesn't look like it has a mark. Oh, right there. Maple City Pottery, made in the USA, 1938. That, but that pottery house might have been around since 38. Doesn't necessarily mean this is from 38. This is very Mary Inglebright. Oh, Sakura. I wonder if that had a lid at one time. It definitely is Mary Inglebright-ish. Um, maybe just some basic USA pottery. All right, I'm on the hunt. I'm off again. We found a little bit of Christmas stuff. Look at this cookie house. I don't want to drop that glass. Don't know who that's by, but I love stuff like that. <laughs> and then we come up here, and these are like Lennox-esque to me. They're very, oh, they are. Okay, so I think I'm going to look these up. Lennox holiday stuff. Oh, the Santa's $20. I wonder if they looked that up. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely have to see about that because what is this guy? Are you some kind of light? Let's see. Do you work? You have like a button or something? No. All right. All right, so we're over by Mom and Aaron. Let's see how they're doing. She found a grab bag with some ornaments. Where'd you find this one? Hanging right over in here. I was looking over there. I didn't get that that far yet. I had to go potty. What else did you find? Oh, I think to one. Okay. $4. We can look them up. Best I can do. You know, what do we have? We have some satin swan. Oh, that's twenty dollars. $20. Um, are those those babies? Those uh, some of them are real and some of them are snow fake babies. snow babies. Yeah. Apartment fifty six. Does it have a price? Three. Oh, some of them are worth more than others. Five ninety nine. All right. These look like they go to a nativity. Home co. Home co nativity. Oh, those are kind of neat. Ooh, nice and vintage. Yes, please. I'm kind of intrigued on what this giant thing is. Oh, man, in China. <laughs> That's a lot of shipping for for that. All right, let's see what they found. Find anything good? What are those? Like huh? They're like, or yeah. something like that, or maybe um, lucite something, or something. Perfect for you. Perfect for me? Let's, oh, a punching bag. Yeah, that would work. Yeah, somebody messed up. <laughs> I messed him up. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. What? They have 99 cents on it? Yeah, I guess it's Okay. Cents. I'll take you for 99 cents. Right. Really? Yeah. Someone maybe messed up there. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's case glass. And what else do we have? That guy was kind of neat. I thought so too. Cancun, Mexican pottery. A sun and a moon. 
I like that. And where, do you know what, oh, that's kind of, all these, where the villages, what these pieces are from? No. What are they from? Dickens. That one's Dickens. Remember we found some like in the boxes or something? Oh, that's party light. I remember. What did you find? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's all kinds of glazed pretty. And it's got a signature. God, I could never read those, but that is cool. That's a cool pot. It so almost looks like it says Nelson, but I could be wrong. <laughs> have to do a rubbing on it. Yeah, I can't really read it. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty glaze. It's like a terrine missing its um, ladle. Hmm. We can look it up and see if they sell for anything amazing. Oh, sorry. We have these sculptures. A pretend vintage phone. What else do we have? It's like marble jars. Some art glass, teleflora. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh bookends. Oh, those are heavy. Holy moly. What does he hold? What do you hold, mister? Oh, maybe. What am I looking at now? Grab that thing and look at it. This? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's very heavy. That's that. I'm not doing that above my head. Hmm. Okay, I will they come back to you guys if we actually <laughs> find anything. They're putting out stuff, um, so we'll see what they're putting out. Oh my gosh, we have all of these. Uh-oh. I stopped the video short because I noticed that I lost a piece to my microphone and we're just gonna have to roll with it. So, after scouring the store, I'm over here and I found a Spode candlestick holder. So I'm going to see, it's $1.99. I'm going to see if maybe it's in here anywhere. Um. Yeah, you never know. What is this? Oh, this is Yankee Candle. That's cool. And these are kind of neat too. Let me just give these a glance. This glass. Made in Spain. Oh, it's flashed. New. No, it can stay. Alright, I don't see the other spode one here. So I'm going to go and kind of scan the tops of these aisles to see if I can find it. Or else when you find one of something, it's usually sold like sort of a replacement piece for someone like me who doesn't have the other. <laughs> All right, so as I was looking for the other candle, I peeked across because I was right, let me take you there slowly. There's Aaron. <laughs> I was right about here. And I looked right across at this shelf and I was like, oh my gosh, I see some Spode teacup and saucers. And sure enough, they are. Babe, woohoo! <laughs> I can't pick up the whole thing. I think, well, maybe I can like this. We gotta find my mom. She has the cart. Right behind you. Oh, there's mom. Found some Spode. Um, bless you. Christmas tree, teacup, and saucer. Yep. And then I found a single, I was looking for the other one, Spode candlestick holder, a longer burger basket, and a Yankee candle, like fairy lamp type thing. So, maybe they have other Spode pieces here. Oh, that says Spode right there. Do those go to those? They look the same, yes. All right. Are they broken? I don't think so. Looks like they have oh, paper between oh, yeah, them. That was nice of them. That might have been the person that donated them. And you know what? Those could have been right there while I was filming. But you always, I always miss stuff. Something China. Tu, ju, Junko, Junko, China. Hey. 
Aaron's calling me over. Oh, looky, looky down here. Spode Christmas tree box. Did I pass this, you guys, when I was filming before? Let me know. I tell you, you always miss stuff when you're filming. Oh, nice. In the box. All right. Yes. In the box. That's awesome. All right. And I see something kind of fancy right here. I wanted to see what these were. Not that I want to ship plates, but made in Japan. Something ch Imperial China, maybe? No, I can't tell. I just saw that gold and I was like, ooh, girl, I gotta look at it. Oh, is that spode too? Maybe not. No, false graph, I think. Oh, what about in under here? Is it another false graph piece? False graph, yep. Yeah. That's all right. Kind of matches. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Oh, that under there. All right. You never know what's buried in the shelves. And that wasn't even buried. I probably walked right past that. Oh, that's 20. That's a Corel set. Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas and Halloween. So they've been putting different things out. Unless people are just unburying things. <laughs> this looks different to me. Um, looks like the desert. And it says Fran Hogan Santa Fe. So they're $1.99 each. And since that one has a tiny little chip. But since they're marked I'm definitely going to look these up. But I also wanted to tell you guys we just ran into a subscriber didn't we babe we did we did so um she actually lives in the area of the red white and blue and i don't know where to put these they're very heavy but uh, she lives in the area her name was aria and we wanted to say hello and thank you so much hello, for talking yes. to us it was a pleasure talking to you yes it was and we hope to see you in the chat sometime so we really do yeah i just wanted to say that so all right let's see what else aaron's organizing the cart that's sad that that's $50 or $60. Yeah, $60. So we're like walking around and around the store um, waiting for the carts to come out. They've slowly been bringing carts out. We have the metal stuff. There's stuff everywhere in this store. <laughs> I went to look at the, oh, my mother's calling me. She said, Alexandra, let's go see what she wants. Gosh, their purse wall is giant. It keeps going. This one, I don't know, that's probably, might be fake, Dooney and Burke. Yeah, it says BS. That about sums it up. <laughs> it says BS. I'm gonna leave that one there. And then there was, no, nope, that's a wannabe. But gosh, it goes on forever, this purse wall. And then they have lots of shoes. And they have, if I could find the movie, or not the movie, the, uh, albums that Bianca wanted. She'd probably love me forever. What did she want? Well, I know she likes the, um, um, uh, My Chemical Romance, like their first couple of albums. And it's, well, it's her favorite band. But I've never seen that kind of stuff at the thrift store. It's always like Mostly lame stuff. I mean, no offense to anybody that likes it. <laughs> but that's usually how it is. Like, nobody, like, really good, you know? Like, oh. Actually, she's pretty good. La India, a Spanish singer. Uh, um, oh, God, Mariah Carey's Christmas. I was watching an interview with her the other day. And she said she that's the first Christmas song she ever wrote when she was like 21. And when anyone else sings it, it's just not good enough. <laughs> I was like, okay, lady. Sounds, like Sounds just like you. All right. And then they have loads of DVDs. Lots of DVDs. They have lots of collections. And they're not bad. That's actually pretty uh, cheap compared to Goodwill. 
Let me see if there's anything that Bianca or Gabriel likes. I'm always looking for like Medea movies. I never find those. Gabriel and I like the Medea movies. Oh my gosh, like look how far. Look at look at their wall. <laughs> it goes on forever. Oh my gosh. Wow. You'd have to like catch it out of the corner of your eye. For real. Frozen. Mom found a Majolica book. Do they have a section with um? It was Ooh. just stuck in over there. I color love. pictures like you like. Yes. Oh, that kind of looked like the one I had. Oh, it's probably long gone. It was like, I think mine is like corn. Here's an original. It's kind of like this, but corn. It's in my kitchen. Very cool. Oh, those are really pretty, huh, Mom? Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. I will take you. Ooh, look at the fish. Very cool. What is this? I like little houses. The Williamsburg collection. The Colonial Capital. That's kind of cool. And what are you? Whoa, you're heavy. What does your tag say? A splitting wedge. This says it's a splitting wedge. Do you want, it's some kind of metal tool. Do you want to look that up for me? And that's a cork made out of some wood. It's like a vintage wooden cork. Like a piece of that monkey bread stuff down. <laughs> monkey bread? <laughs> Aaron said it looked like monkey bread. Here's another Lennox. There's quite a few Lennox pieces here today. These have that jadeite look, but they're ceramic. Hmm. Just seeing what they put out. She just put that out. That right there. And I keep losing the piece to my microphone. It keeps falling off. No, I'm telling them that it keeps happening. They just put that gnome out. It says May on the front. We have these little art glass fish. There's a lot of these snow babies and depending which one it is, I might look it up because depending on which one it is, they sell for different prices. So I might look those up. You guys won't freaking believe who I just ran into. Rally Roots. Oh my gosh. I walked up to them and I was like, how many times do you guys get recognized? Oh my goodness. So yeah. I like still am speechless. I got to meet Rally Roots. Do you guys know who they are? Oh my gosh. They were so nice. I walked up to Ryan and I kind of stood behind him like to the side and I was like, do you get recognized often here? And he smiled and he says, yeah, I do actually. So I just started talking to him like I knew the guy, you know, like, like I saw him every day and he doesn't know who I am. So, but hi Ryan, hi Allie. Thank you so much, you guys were so nice. They were talking to them. Um, I was like, my mom made me go up. She was like, Alex, just get a picture. Just ask them, ask them. And I was like, no, mom, no. I'm being like, Wah. and, but they were so nice and they took a picture. So, um, yeah. So I told mom, I'm like, I'm thank thankful you made me do that because they were really nice. You know, um, I just didn't want to, I don't know. I didn't want to feel like I was trying to get something from them. Um, but you, at the end of the day, you know, they feel like they're just people too. So, woo, so exciting. Anyways, mom, what is your question of the day? Okay, so I have to do a little bit of video editing. So, the actual question is, what three words best describe you? Don't pay attention to Siri. What three words best describe you? Leave that in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, well, I already told you that. And make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. We really Tickle appreciate that it. Up Tickle the thumbs up button. And if you don't know who Rally Roots is, yeah. check them if out. If you don't know who Rally Roots is, make sure you go check them out. Um, anyways, thank you guys again so much. And we'll talk to you guys again soon.